Hello, bulls and ghouls. Bronco Juggalo is back with some Bigfoot action for Wild Eye Wednesday. Today we are reviewing The Big F from 2016. Directed by Brian Papandrea, who also plays a character named Maverick, and starring Sadie Tate as Jenny. A Bigfoot is looking for love on Valentine's Day and will kill anybody who gets in his way. Now, if I would have known this movie took place on Valentine's Day, I would have filmed this around Valentine's. But I didn't know that. I sat down to watch it. Turns out it's on Valentine's Day. What can I say? All right, guys. So this had a $1,000 budget. And if you ask me, they did a decent job for a 1K budget. Now, this movie has a lot of very good reviews on IMDb. And on other places, everybody that's reviewed this that I've seen does a pretty good review on it. And then there was a couple people that were like, this is the worst movie ever. How does it get all these good reviews? Well, we've talked about this before. Whether it's done extremely well or it's done bad, and most of these people that write these reviews don't seem to know what independent cinema is, it entertains. So that's why it gets good reviews. It's entertaining as shit. It's funny as hell. I only have a couple cons. Uh, we got a couple douchebag characters that were just annoying. Like this guy that kept glut uh, bitching about gluten and how he had to have gluten-free beer. By the way, I don't believe there is such a thing because beer is made from wheat. So I I'm just saying, you know, I don't know. I love how the one chick tells him that it's a made-up allergy and he needs to get the fuck over and shut the fuck up. Because it's flat out true. There are very few people that are actually allergic to wheat or and or gluten. Now, I understand that there was a 1K budget, so it may have been hard to get a full, really good costume. They've got a pretty good suit. It looks good. Uh, the Bigfoot doesn't look too bad. Except for it has this extremely long blonde wig on that's just everywhere. And I think they did that because they weren't able to get a lot of good face prosthetics or a good mask. They do have some prosthetics around the eyes, but that's about it. Around the mouth and all, you can tell it's just a normal guy. But you don't see his face that often. So for the most part, he's, wearing, he's got this long, long hair coming down. that goes down to like his knees. And it's it covers his face most of the time. But I just didn't like the wig. I thought it was dumb. Uh, the prosthetic pieces they use for the nipple and the penis... Yes, I can't believe I just said that. The Bigfoot nipple and the penis. They looked really weird, but, you know, that was funny. I think that was kind of what they were going for, so it worked. And, uh, like I said, just going off of the wig thing, the Bigfoot's face, like I said, he had a couple little prosthetics here on his eyes, but that was it. Maybe they just couldn't have the budget for it. I don't know. It's fine. It's not a big deal with this movie because it doesn't take away from the movie. Now, starting with my pros, we got TNA right off the bat. This movie starts out with TNA. There's a girl running around half naked. That's not bad. Uh, this is also going to sound funny that this is in my pros. But as I said, you know, the, the nipples looked funny. And I was just sitting there thinking while I watched it, what the fuck? Horny, hairy, getting longer by the second. Bigfoot nipples. What the fuck? But it was too funny, man. It just really was too funny. Uh, my next pro was the director. The director is in the movie as a character named Maverick, and he is fucking hilarious. The character is hilarious. He is hilarious. They do an awesome job. I just love his comedic timing. He is so funny. You know, the gore was very cheap, but it looked good for the price. I mean, it wasn't bad. Uh, the, the blood... The blood wasn't bad. It could have been a little darker, but that's about it. I think that they did a good job with the budget they had on the gore, and the blood was pretty good, too. You know, like I said, it could have been a little darker, but that's okay. Guys, this movie is funny as shit. If you have not seen The Big F, and I've been putting this one off because I just, I'm not into Bigfoot movies that much. I mean, very few, like The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot. That movie is fucking amazing to me. Uh, that's an amazing film, period. Everybody should go see that. But if you just want to sit there and laugh for about an hour and 15 minutes, give this one a try. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for Wild Eye Wednesday today. I want to thank everybody that participated in the Wild Eye Week last week. It was a huge success. We had a lot of fun doing it. Really cool. Thank you so much. We had some really good reviews. We had some really good reviewers. 
and we had a lot of people watch the videos, which is awesome. This is Bronco Juggalo saying thank you for that, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, booze and ghouls. Thank you.